Okay, hey everybody, this is Grace. I am on my way to uh, go and test my blood pressure at these, uh, like one at CVS and one at Walgreens, uh, right across from one another. And uh, I don't know what's going on with my blood pressure. I've been seen by doctors and I have that, what they call white coat syndrome when I go in. Uh, my blood pressure will go real high anyway as it is. And, uh, usually, I mean, I know that it does that, and I feel like I test it before I leave and stuff, but I don't know, I've been testing it, I, I keep a record of it as, as it is, you know, testing it and all this, and I have different machines that test them on that, and some doctors say, well, don't do that, well, I need to do that because I, don't, I think these things get bad real fast. I remember I tested Admiral when, when he just got a new one. It was real high, and then he tested it, like, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes later, and it was normal. And he had just bought it. So, uh, I mean, I have so many, and they're not all from the same place. They're not all the same kind. There's three of them that are. And I have wrist one, and I have one or two for the upper arm. So, but they, they, and they, sometimes one or two of them will match, or three, and the other two won't, and, <laughs> or the other however many I test. I don't know how many I have. The same is for the, the glucose monitors. I've always called it, well, I've called them for many years, glucometers. I only heard one healthcare professional after that call it that. But, um, I have several of those, and they never match. Different kinds, different... Some expensive, some not, like in between, this kind of thing. So, I don't even know if I go to these, if they're going to match. <laughs> CVS and Walgreens are uh, here, at least, are often right across the street from one another, or even right next to one another. Um, they just closed one of them, so I was going to go there, but now I'm, I'm going to test them here, and just go right across the street from the other one, and see... How it works. I wish you wouldn't have done that. But I mean, now you're going to stick right next to me. Okay. But anyway, I want to get over there. Okay, and I brought three of my monitors with me. Two of them usually match. Well, actually, three of them. Because I had one in. Let's see. No, I had one in my uh, backpack. So I have a backpack in a purse, by the way. <laughs> A purse, also inside that purse for medicine, just the purse inside, it's a small one and it has uh, my medicine, the, and then I have, if I'm out and about and I need to take it, so different medicines, and uh, anyway, but in my backpack I have had one, so I have that one, and it matched with the other ones that were always higher, then I have some that are always, like I said, those are higher, so the other ones will be lower, and uh, I brought one of those, and uh, the one that I've tested on usually, ooh, that sounds bright right in my eye, and uh, so I'm going to see if any of these match what they have in there, but like I said, it can match right now, and then a little bit later, it might not match at all, you know, and the whole bad thing was I took this morning, well, I, I wake up early, usually, and real early, like in the four o'clock hour, and uh, I tested it and all that, and I had taken my main blood pressure medication. I took that real early. Okay, school's on. Okay, sorry that you're seeing the, the wall, but I have some red box next to it. But I, <laughs> you know, I'd get a copyright strike or something for because they have all those movies, whatever they they have on it. But anyway. I'm gonna go in there and see um, how it turns out. <laughs> we'll see. But uh, I think they're open. It should be open by now. But I know I was going to say something. I had to stop for that um, school zone, but I'm hoping that they make some sense. You know, because this, this is, you know, I was t saying that this morning when I woke up real early, uh, as I usually do, and tested it, and I, I get so frustrated because that, that doctor, you know how, 
just recently I went to a, a different practice. It was an urgent care. And first I saw a, um, a, uh, let me do this. Well, I saw a, anyway, I saw a nurse, um, practitioner, I guess she was. And, and I told her that I test mine. You know, I told her, I said, I, she said, well, when do you test? I said, yep, every day. And, and she, she just went off saying that I have to test it every morning and every time I said I do. And she, it was as though she did not hear me say that. And this is why I dread going to doctors, offices, you know, practices, because there's going to be somebody. I, it does not fail. It does not fail at all. That there's going to be somebody who's smart aleck and who doesn't listen and, and or, you know, these, these kind of bad behaviors that has these bad behaviors. Sometimes it's a doctor. Sometimes it's a front office staff. Sometimes it's a nurse. But anyway, she, she's my age and she, she kept harping saying that you have to do it in the morning and at the same time in the morning. And I mean, she would say a few other sentences. She'd say that again. And I had told her repeatedly. I already have. She wasn't listening. It was like she, and I, I noticed she was nervous and I have a, it wasn't about me, but they, um, they give like a little, uh, what would I call it? Um, it's something different that I'm just going to say that she might have had some stage fright. I don't care. I'm not there for her to take her stage fright out on her anxiety, her whatever it is, her stress. I'm not there. That's, I'm a, did you have to park so close? Really? Can I get out? Oh, man. <laughs> this guy drove up. It's parking so close that I can't get out of my car. You jerk. Really? And see, the, this is why I don't like parking here, because the parking spots are so narrow, and there's going to be somebody who parks real close. This is my life, I'm telling you. I am telling you, seriously. Okay, really now. <laughs> well, but when I'm, I'm looking now, and he's parked right in the middle, pretty much in his, and so was I on mine, but there's just so narrow over there. But still, I mean, when you see your, you know, all those spaces next to him, when you see your parking would make somebody else not be able to get out of the car, would you park next to him? I actually had that happen twice in one day recently. And I, I mentioned one of them was um, at a Dollar Tree store. And it was a Mercedes. <laughs> it was a Mercedes. Got blocked in by, you know, out of my car by Mercedes at a Dollar Tree store. And there were two, uh, they had on scrubs, two women. One of them, they were both really skinny. And one of them said, oh, I can do it for you if you'd like me to. And I said, okay. So she did it. She was real nice. She was really teeny tiny. And uh, I'm not really teeny tiny. But... I would never do that to someone. I would never park so close that they couldn't get it in or out of their their whatever they're driving. It's just ridiculous. Now, even if I am perfectly in mind, if I look over and I looked at him, he looked at me, and he kind of like shrugged. He didn't care. Rude, rude, rude. I live in what I could jokingly call narcissismville. Seriously, you know. I mean, I, there's no such place as narcissismville, but you get the gist. You know, that so many people are so much about themselves. And what they want, how they want. I should go park real close to him. Maybe he'd get the feeling of it. No, he'd probably shoot me or something. This is Texas. <laughs> you know, but, uh, anyway, I just bought myself some Crocs. And, uh, trying to put them on. But anyway, to change, I have to get back to this subject, but, uh, I want to go in there and test, but like I said, when I was up this morning, it just, I mean, and I took, I had taken my main, um, blood pressure medication seven hours earlier. The do three nurse practitioners, that one included, the one that told me I have to take it every t time of the same day, uh, every day at the same time, that is, um, and she wouldn't stop. She had said, she told me, you know, maybe I should do that. And I said, they've said that before, but my, my lower one, what is it called? A diagnostic or something like that. Ooh, somebody's going to go park. Nope, they parked way far from, from his. And do you understand how it works? <laughs> but anyway, um, 
she told me that, and then two other nurse practitioners, but never a doctor. And uh, I don't really trust nurse practitioners. I've been through too much. I don't trust any of them anymore. I have lost my faith in them. Not every one of them is bad. I don't know every one of them, but the ones I have, I definitely. But it's making me lose faith altogether. So I can, I've told stories. I could tell more. But anyway, um, I don't know why that person's parked over there. But anyway, the, um, you know, so I took it seven hours earlier. I, I, instead of taking it in the morning, I took it last night. And, um, when I woke up, my blood pressure was high. And I'm like, okay, so I, so I took this other medicine that I can take PRN, but I can also take one every, uh, it's prescribed as one every eight hours or PM, PRN as needed, you know. And, uh, so, so I went ahead and took it at the time I would take it anyway. So when I usually when I wake up like five, before, I wake up before five, but like I said, I wake up, at, but I take it at like close to 5.30, somewhere around there. And uh, I have them all on, scheduled on my cell phone for alarms to go off or whenever I have to take whatever. But, uh, and anyway, so, so an hour later, it's supposed to take about an hour, 30 minutes an hour. It's rapid. And it worked, it, but it didn't lower it down to um, normal. But it was close, it was closer. And then an hour, I fell asleep. And an hour later, about an hour later, I woke up and took it again. And it was higher again. I'm like, this is not right. This is, you know, I don't know. Like I said, I think I worry it's my machine. Adam had his tested the other day at his dentist. And he said his was like really good. It was really good. And at home, he says, I never get readings like that. And he doesn't. So, I don't know. Maybe I should go in. But just as I suspected, you know, how my days just go. Yeah, they don't have a machine in there at Walgreens after all this. They don't have a machine. You can buy them, though. <laughs> that we knew. And I told the woman, I said, I've walked all the way to the back. I should just ask as I go in. But, um... I told her, I said, I have plenty of them. I just want to uh, test them against them because they're, they're, all, they're all, none of them really match. And she said, yeah, I know. Like that, so. I'm going to go to, uh, across the street to CVS. I could call them, but the, the actual pharmacy isn't open till. Uh, 35 more minutes, and I don't know about this, just across the street. So we'll see. Okay, we'll try this one. Go in here. And uh, I had to turn it off because there's a school zone right there. And they're already in school, I don't know why. But how long they keep it going afterwards. But I am. Okay, you can't hear me if I do that. These shoes, I don't know about these Crocs that I got. But anyway, I've never had a pair before. I've always wanted one, so I bought one the other day. Uh, with tags and such, it's close to 70 bucks. Alrighty, but uh, I'm worried that the strap is going to fall, it's going to tear off or something. But anyway, I'm going to go in there and hopefully they'll have one. If not, I'm going to have to go to grocery stores to do it, like one at Kroger and one at... Um, there's a Walmart neighborhood market. I'm not sure how I can get to one to the other, though. Yeah. I don't like the one of them where it's located, the Walmart one. Yeah. But the high school hasn't... Their school zone's still going, so... <laughs> this is a lot of work, just to, because all these machines can't can't say the right thing. None of these going to work. They, they're selling these crap. And I'm talking big difference. Like, difference between, uh, let's see, how many points would it be? About, say, close to 40, 35, 40 difference, differences between them. The same thing as the glucometers. One of them, one time I lined up four of them and tested, you know, all four. From the one that was the highest to the one that was the lowest, it was a 130-point spread. <laughs> really? Let me go in there and see. 
Okay, so that one, <laughs> that one actually had a machine, and the pharmacy was open, and I spoke to the pharmacist. She's a young woman, and she's really, really nice, and very helpful. She is nice and helpful. Wow, what a concept. <laughs> but she, I had questions. I still have more, but I'm going to go to another one, and uh, I I didn't want to overwhelm her with so many questions, but I'm going to go to the other one and ask them. Um, uh, because I told her about one of my that one medication. I'm worried that it's no longer working. She said that could happen, um, and that's the one they wanted me to take too. And I told her I said three nurse practitioners told me to take more. She said yes. You know, she basically and she explained it to me. You know how it wouldn't do what I was afraid of and what and all this stuff and what I would do if it did anything like that. And uh, it was nice to have someone explain things to me like she did. Really, and we had a nice discussion about it. I mean, what can I say more? Nice. <laughs> you know? Really nice. And informative. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the one, I did ask her if that machine was uh, was accurate. And she said, as long as I do my part right. <laughs> Which I read on it, and that's what it says. But uh, it was higher than... All of mine. So yeah. So I'm gonna go to this other one test it. But I also need to go to a uh, Walmart to buy some a few groceries. Let's like I said, if I can figure out how to get there from here. It's it's very confusing. There's some roads and it's we've laughed over over 20 years about how it's so easy to not. Um, I better slow down here. This, this is 30. But we've laughed uh, about how it's so easy to get lost on that one road before we ever even started going to Walmart neighborhood market there. But it is so easy. It's it's the, it's the road's name changes for one, and it's really confusing. But anyway, it was high on that machine, and then machine. You know, some of these machines, and even when I go like to like I went to the hospital this summer. ER. They every time I go to a hospital, my uh, speaking of which, it's right here. Let's go to this. Oh no, that's not it. It is. Hello. It says right there. But uh, and I think the other place I need to go is down that road. Just like I said, this one is easy to get confused. Okay, you don't need to be on my tail going into the store, really. Yes, tailgating is a big thing here. Seriously. You know, and like I said, life in narcissism, they'll, um, everybody thinks they, not everybody, but many people think they own the road, and you, you're, you better get out of them, even turning into a store. Okay, seriously now, really? Turning into a store, you're going to tailgate? God. I mean, actually, in the turn. <laughs> Whoa. And there were no cars go, coming, so he didn't have to... Uh, there was no rush for him to get through. No, mm -mm. Anyway. You know, this, this is some of the stuff that I have to deal with. Is, you know, these, like I said, I've been making nar Life and Narcissism videos for years because it's so, um, overall, this kind of thing. But some of it's even worse. Honestly, worse. Um... And it's so stressful. I don't, I, I'm actually, I gotta go in and buy some groceries, but I do want to start, um, I have started, I should say, recently ordering most of my groceries. And you know, I do f deliveries myself. <laughs> but I don't like shop and pay, no. I've, I've had too many of them right off the bat. I think most of them that I've had had troubles. Like going to the store and they don't have the items. None of it, or expired items, whatever store it was. You know, I know which one it was, but it wasn't. It wasn't a Walmart. But any of these, you know, things and it happen too too often. I mean, that's my time. It's wasting. You know, and then you you <laughs> they don't pay you half the one that I use. They only pay you a few bucks. I've seen two, three, and four, and that's driving all the way there, going through, looking at and get people to help, try to help find them, see if they have any not have any and I get and I have to call 
deal with them for like uh, 15 minutes for two, three, or four bucks, really? No. See, these stressors, it's too much. <laughs> so I'm going to go in there. Let's see how that goes. 